Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2015, and I'm currently one week post-op from having gastric sleeve surgery. I am down to 321 pounds, which means I have lost a total of 9 pounds since coming home from the hospital six days ago. 9 pounds in one week is probably the most I've ever lost in my entire life, um, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm down a total of 35 pounds since I started my journey in November, and I'm, I'm feeling better. Each day is definitely getting easier in several ways. It's getting easier to eat. It's getting easier to get up and down. It's getting easier to get back in some kind of a, a normal routine, a, a normal schedule. It's... The schedule has probably been the hardest part so far um, since my last video um, diary. Trying to get myself in that schedule of taking my meds and eating when I need to and, and such. It's, it's definitely been a challenge. I've never had to do that before. I just ate whenever I wanted and drank whenever I wanted. And now I have to constantly be thinking about my protein counts and thinking about the fluids that I've got in for the day. Do I have enough water in me? Do I have enough liquid? Um, am I staying hydrated? Did I get you know all my protein? So that schedule has been a real stickler. <laughs> um, so it, it but it, it's getting easier um, as far as the pain goes. I'm still having pain whenever I eat. I'm still having pain in my incision areas. I'm still having that cramping feeling in my stomach um, every time I take a drink of water. And I, I spoke to the nurse at the weight loss center and she said that that stuff is typical. So I'm not too worried about it. She says that it will eventually go away and we kind of doubled up on one of my meds. So I'm hoping that here in the near future that'll go away. I have been running a low grade fever at night, which um, was something that I you know, had to call and let the clinic know. Monday night, it was about 100.4. Tonight, it spiked at about 100.5. Um, I'm having some kind of cold chills that go along with it and some other symptoms. So I plan on calling the clinic tomorrow to make sure that that's okay and that there's no complications that I don't need to need to go in. Um, I started walking more. And each day, I kind of go a little bit further than before. And it's it's helping. It's helping me to get my body moving again and not just stay stationary on the couch. Um, it's definitely helping those stomach muscles that were there and then they were gone. And now I'm starting to kind of get the feeling of them back. Um, huge success today. I actually put my socks on by myself. And while that may sound silly, it was, I was just excited. I'm like, hey, I actually was able to bend over and, and put my socks on. And um, because prior to, you know, after surgery, I couldn't do that because it was just so painful. I'm able to put the leash on the dog and, and sort of take her for a walk. But luckily I've had Jason here to help me and to take her out and, you know, put my socks on <laughs> when I need it. So yeah, that's just, that's just one little, you know, joy that I found today is that I was able to put on my socks by myself. Um, and I'm finding joy in all the little things that I'm able to do again after surgery. You get to a point where you feel like oh, I'm doing this to better my health, but I just feel so terrible. And now I have these people who, who are helping me to kind of get through the daily grind. And, and I've been very fortunate that I've had someone here with me. Um, you know, my doctor said after a day or two, you probably don't need anyone, but I've been very fortunate and very blessed that I've had, um, friends and family, you know, here to help me out throughout this process. Um, so I, I found joy in putting on my socks today. Um, I also put on a pair of pants that I hadn't put on in a really long time. They were, they used to be super tight and I didn't want to put them on because I didn't want to have too much pressure on my stomach. But when I put them on today, they fit just fine. They felt really good. So I found joy in putting on those pants as well. Um, so, you know, throughout this process, it's just finding those little things that, that, you know, bring you joy and, and make you happy. And it's just like those milestones. It's like, hey. <laughs> so it's it's been interesting experiencing those things. I want to talk a little bit about an experience that I had on Saturday and then again on Sunday. 
on Saturday, um, my mom and I, we went to the grocery store and got in a few more groceries for me to have and, you know, just to have in the house for, um, just for, for Jason, who was, you know, staying here to help me out. And walking into a grocery store for the very first time was interesting emotionally. I was so emotionally dependent upon food, as I've talked about before, that it was it was just there. It was it was my comfort. It was my soldier. It was my you know my best friend. So I went into the grocery store and it hit me like all these different smells. Like you walk in, and the first place you walk into is the bakery, and oh my gosh, you just smell those cookies and you smell those donuts, and you know you go over to you know the the, the meat section and the fruit section and the ice cream section and you just think to yourself, oh my gosh, that would taste so good right now. Or I wish I could pick that up because I would love to have some of that whenever I got home. And then it hits you that you can't have that right now. You may not be able to eat that ever again. And when you start to think about it and you say, you start to process through things, you get sad and you think, oh, I just, I just, just a little, just like one bite of that cookie just one bite of that Oreo and, and I'll be satisfied. That's all I need. Um, and then it hits you and, and you can't have that anymore. Um, at that point, I sucked it up and I said to myself, you know what? You don't need that cookie and you don't need that ice cream to be happy anymore, Amy. And it was a very emotional journey. Obviously, no one knows that. <laughs> this is the first time that I'm talking about it. But it's like taking an addict <laughs> into, into a grocery store. And it was just, it was hard. And I didn't want to let my mom know how hard it was for me. As we were going, you know, going through the aisles and stuff. But today, I went to Meijer and picked up, you know, some more of my, my new favorite food. <laughs> and I didn't have those cravings. I didn't have that, that empty feeling inside me that said, if I just had one bite of that cookie, I'd be okay. That is past. And I feel so much stronger. So much stronger because of it. Um, it was hard the first time. And it will be hard for you too, but it gets easier. Um, you have to get to that point where it doesn't matter. You know, there's other things to find joy in. So as we're walking past, you know, the Easter candy today, oh, those, those Reese cups look so good and those Reese eggs and but that's okay because I don't need it and I don't I want it a little but I don't need it I don't need it to survive I don't need it to comfort me anymore and I feel like it was a huge a huge turning point for me going into the grocery store on Saturday and then kind of processing through things until today on Wednesday I'm, I'm okay I I don't need it and for someone who, who isn't addicted to food and who isn't dependent upon food that way, you may not understand. But those of you who are, just know that it gets better. And after surgery, it gets easier. It, it does. I promise. It gets easier. So, that's my emotional diary <laughs> for today. Um, each day it's getting easier. And each day I'm getting, I'm getting stronger. And I just feel so blessed and, and so thankful for that. My addiction to food is, is getting less and less every day. Um, my new favorite food that I found 
um, throughout this process has been um, cream of chicken soup. I can have cream of chicken as uh, cream, you know, creamy soups as long as I strain them, and um, that's been my favorite so far. <laughs> um, I've had it a few down a few times, and basically I just mix about anywhere from one to one and a half ounces with a half an ounce of milk, skim milk, uh, fat-free milk, and heat it up, and it's very satisfying. It's very fulfilling. Um, in fact, my mom was telling me tonight that when my, when my grandmother was going through radiation, that that was her comfort food, that that's the food that she felt like she could taste and, and was good for her. So I'm kind of glad that I found it. Um, so that's all that I have for today. Um, I'm one week and I'm doing good.